Right, good morning, Ms. Smith. How are you today? After two years of coursework and a lifetime of courage, Ali Al-Rubai'i is graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from the University of Texas at Arlington, home to one of the most highly ranked and well-regarded nursing programs in the nation. It was challenging, very competitive. Especially for someone who was born in a war-torn country, who taught himself to speak English by watching movies, who has been in America less than a decade. Ali grew up in Iraq, which, he says, felt like growing up in a prison. In 2003, when the U.S. invaded Iraq to remove Saddam Hussein from power, Ali felt empowered. I've seen a bunch of uh, U.S. soldiers at the gas station that close to my house, and I told them that I speak English. And they start shouting and screaming of somebody speaking English here in this town. He spent the next few years interpreting for the U.S. military, thrilled to make $200 a month. The American soldiers he served with wrote Ali letters of recommendation, proving he was a valued partner. These letters helped him secure a special visa, and he moved his family to the United States, determined to build a better life. He didn't know exactly how to do that, but he did know how to help the sick. He had cared for his Iraqi mother as she lost a battle with cancer. I have this kind of mentality and, and passion towards giving care to people, especially to my mom. And I said, okay, well, we're working with the military later on, and I've seen battle injuries and stuff like that. And it inspired me very, you know, really to come down to UTA and be a nursing student. Ali has an iron will, but he credits an army of family, friends, and caring UTA instructors who refuse to let him quit. Treat the mannequin as you treat a patient. Ali is now just days from graduation. He works at the VA hospital in Dallas, caring for military veterans. There was some connection, you know, between me and, and, and the military member. I don't know, because the way that I was with them all the time for a couple of years, I developed that kind of rapport between, you know, like military. I know their terminology, their culture, the flavor of life. The VA feels like home, and so did UTA, because it shares a deep commitment to making a global impact on the human condition.